This is a dynamic warm-up for seniors, and basically we do this before we do our exercise or sport, basically preparing the body for movement with movement. This first one here is just a heel kick, and we've got our chair close by just in case you ever need it for balance and stability. Um, you don't have to use it, but just have one close by to help you in case you need it. Um, so we're just trying to get a little blood flow going through the quadriceps and calves here by kicking the heel up towards the glute, side to side alternating. And continue nice, normal, deep breaths as you do these in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're just going to do each one about 10 reps on each side. This next one here is a front leg swing. And it's a great way to warm up the sliding surfaces in the hamstring and in your hips. And so you're just going to gently swing that leg out in front of you. Try to point your toes a little bit in front and let the leg naturally swing back behind you. Let the, the knee bend naturally. And of course, it's the same thing on the other side. Ten repetitions on the left leg as well. And next, we're going to move into our outside in leg swing. So we're warming up our adductor muscles on the inside of the leg and abductor muscles on the outside of the leg. And here it's a good idea to hold on to your chair for stability. And we're just going to swing that right leg outside and in for 10 repetitions. Point your toes at the ceiling as you swing it out. And then same thing as you swing it back in and through. And obviously the same thing on the left leg here. Pointing our toes to the ceiling as we swing the leg through. And pointing our toes to the ceiling as we swing it outside as well. Next, we're going to move our chair out of the way and do some punches. So stagger stance here, your non-dominant side in front. So since I am right side dominant, I put my right foot back behind. And we're going to do these punches for about 30 seconds. So as you get used to it, you can actually add a little speed to it so you can get more punches in during your 30 seconds. But we're just trying to warm up the shoulders and chest and upper body here with a fun little dynamic movement. So we'll show you from the front again one more time, adding a little bit of speed to this, get a little bit of hip rotation involved. And like I said, as you get used to this, you can add some speed to your punches. All right, now that we've finished 30 seconds of punches, we're gonna do 30 seconds of marching. And like the punches, as you get used to this movement, you can add some speed to this as well. So when we're marching, we wanna take nice, big, high steps with our knee. This helps warm up our hip flexors. And also we want to pump those arms. When I have a nice 90 degree arm bend, pump those arms nice and high. This helps warm up our shoulders and core as well. All right, now we're moving on to 30 seconds of windmills. So a great dynamic movement to warm up the spine with some rotation work here. Now notice we're not bringing the hand all the way down to the foot. If you can, that's great, but it's not necessary. We get plenty of spinal rotation here with a little bit of hinge in the waist and trying to rotate those arms to where they're both perpendicular to the ground. Also warms up the shoulders a bit as well. All right, and we're gonna get our chair back out for this next one. A nice dynamic movement here for your calves. We're just gonna do some heel paddles here. So just gently push into your chair. You can also use a wall, anything that you can get some leverage against. And we're just gonna gently push the heels down towards the ground and alternate left to right. So showing you the same thing from the back side here, just a different angle. We're doing these for 30 seconds. Just heel paddling, driving one heel down to the ground, getting a nice light stretch, and warming up the lower leg there in the calf muscles. So just to show you the same thing against the wall, just push against the wall and alternate side to side, right and left, getting a nice light stretch through the calves there, getting them warmed up and ready for exercise. And that's everything. You're warmed up and ready for a great workout.